Hey folks, how's it going? We are checking out Black Adder because it won the poll, and I am skipping the season two as you guys requested. And this is the first time majority of you guys said skip a season. Usually, I get maybe one to five people who requested I skip a season or two seasons from a show I watch. That came with Only Fools and Horses, Peep Show, IT Crowd. Several people have asked me to skip seasons before, and I haven't been down. I, I've never been down with it. I would say like, you know what, dude, I want to watch all of it so I can kind of like you know grow with the characters, grow with the show, and appreciate the other seasons. Seasons, like so, I can look back and say, "Oh, the first season was." You can see where they kind of tripped over their own feet and how it got better. I like that. I enjoy those journeys. But so many of you guys said, "Do not watch the first season," so I'm not going to do it. And not just here. When I reacted to clips on YouTube, same thing. Majority of people said, "Do not watch the first season." You guys can go in the comment section under those two videos if you want to on YouTube. I even said on my second video, I wasn't going to do any more clips because I didn't want to ruin the show for myself because I plan on watching the show sometime soon. And I asked people like, "Is the first season really that bad? Should I skip it?" And majority of people said, "Yeah, skip the first season." Go to the second. Some of the best advice that was under the comment section, I forgot, it was a guy or girl, told me watch season two through four. And then if I'm curious about the first season, then go back and watch it. But they really don't think it's worth my while. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm listening to what you guys are saying. I'm skipping the first season. We're going into the second season. And anybody who has asked me to skip other seasons and wonder why I didn't listen to you then, it's because I like to go with what the majority of people want. And I'm not a big fan of skipping seasons, but since majority of people are saying do not watch the first season because it can, like, you know, it's just not good, I'm going to listen, man. I'm going to listen. So if that happens with another show and an overwhelming amount of you guys tell me to skip a season, if it's a lot of you, I'm going to do it going forward. And um, I just watch the season on my own time. Because, like, like one, of the things, one of the things a lot of people say is you can watch it, but it's not worth the reaction because there's not much to it. So I've gotten that as well. That's why I got it on all my messages. Like, you can watch it, but you, it won't be much of a reaction because you probably won't enjoy yourself through it. So if an overwhelming amount of you guys going for it says, Josh, please skip this season, I will do so. Um, or if you guys say, just watch this particular episode in the season and move forward, I'm going to start doing that. Um, but I'm not going to go with the, like, the one or two people who just want me to skip it. I'm not going to do that when well, majority of people want to see it. So that's a pretty long intro. It's two minutes. Let's just go ahead and jump into Black Adder, and we'll definitely talk about it more in the end. I must speak. I can be silent no longer. All day long you muttered yourself, jibber, dribble, moan, and bash your head against the wall, yelling, I want to die. Now you may say I'm leaving. Run off with your Uncle Henry. Dear father, <laughs> no one can only say such things to comfort me. Your mother is alive and well and living in Droitwich. It's not her I brood over. I'm sad because, my darling, our poverty is to become a prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! Indeed, I do. For it is better to die poor than to live in shame and ignominy. No, it isn't. <laughs> I'm strong and clever. No, it is. I shall go to oh, God, he's so cold Despise bloody. myself as a boy and seek my fortune. Well, why walk all the way to London when you can make a fortune lying on your back? <laughs> Well, I'll see the Spaniard who could make his way past me. Well, you're to Spain. There are millions of them. <laughs> I advise them to stay there, then. Keep their hands off our women. Oh, God. Who is she this time? I don't know what you mean. We are very much in love, my lord. This is the Jane Harrington. Yes. Jane, bury me in a Y-shaped coffin, Harrington. <laughs> <laughs> Chance my woolly got in the way. <laughs> yeah, I'd only just put it there, but now I will leave it there forever. Oh, right, well, that's for damn sure as mustard. Come in. Good day to you, Lord Blackadder. Ah. Good day to you, boy. What does it bring to you? That your servant is the worst servant in London. Mm, that's true. <laughs> Warwick, you're fired. Be out of the house and tell <laughs> Well, young man, you've got yourself a job. What do they call you? Kate. Isn't that a bit of a... Sorry, Warwick, any reason you're still here? <laughs> I'm looking for 
I've got nowhere to go, my lord. Oh, surely you'll be allowed to starve to death in one of the royal parks. <laughs> I've been in your service since I was two and a half, my lord. Well, that must be why I'm so utterly sick of the sight of you. <laughs> God bless you, sweet master. <laughs> Mom? Uh, oh. Bob, this is Percy. A dimwit I don't seem to be able to shake off. <laughs> uh, hello there, Bob. You young royster doister, you. Uh, you look a likely well, sort of... you. Uh, having another man <laughs> about the house instead of that, that animal, Baldrick. Excuse me, I'm just going to the lavatory. <laughs> how little he knows and how much I would have him know. <laughs> Try, Melchie, but it's no use. I'm still bored. No, I'm very sorry, madam. You're royal. <laughs> Where's Edmund these days? Ah, well, the whisper on the underground grapevine, ma'am, is that Lord Blackadder is spending all his time with a young boy in his service. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I said a boy without a winkle. God be praised, it's a miracle. A boy without a winkle. Oh, God. <laughs> and Ethan Thomas More pointed out that a boy without a winkle is a girl. <laughs> and everyone was really... you curiously pleasant company, young Bob. I'm honoured, and for my part, want nothing more than to be with you, old man. Well, absolutely. I mean, there's nothing more healthy and normal than having a good... Uh... <laughs> well, of course, it depends entirely on who you said it to. Uh, if you said it to a horse, I presume you were sick. Um, if, you, if you said it to Baldrick, I presume you were blind. And if you said it to me... Yes, well... my lord. Well, be like well, I... if... If we really did fancy each other. <laughs> In that case, my lord. He's so very weird. <laughs> well, I was wondering if I might sleep on the roof, sir. Only the town bailiff says if I lie in the gutter, I'll be flushed into the Thames with all the other turds. <laughs> yeah, certainly, Molly. Help yourself. I was just off to, to, to bed. Anyway. Um, now then, what seems to be the trouble? Well, it's my manservant. I see. Well, don't be embarrassed. If you've got the pox, just pop your uh, manservant on the table and we'll take a look at it. <laughs> no, no, no. Started fancying boys then, have you? Not boys, a boy. Yes, well, let's not split hairs. It's all rather disgusting and naturally you're worried. <laughs> of course I'm worried. Well, of course you are. It isn't every day a man wakes up to discover he's a screaming bender with no more... So is an extra. No, all part of the service. <laughs> I think you're in luck, though. An extraordinary new cure has just been developed for exactly this kind of sordid problem. It wouldn't have anything to do with leeches, would it? <laughs> I had no idea you were a medical yes, man. Yes, I heard that. Dr. Hoffman of Stuttgart, isn't it? That's right, the great Hoffman. Owner of the largest leech farm in Europe. <laughs> yes. Well, I can't spend all day gossiping. I'm a busy man. As far as this case is concerned, I've now had time to think oh, it over in your mouth in the morning and let them dissolve slowly. Oh. In a couple of weeks, you'll be beating your servant with a stick just like the rest of us. You're just an old quack, aren't you? I'd rather be a quack than a ducky. Good day. What do you think of this newfangled doctrine? Any problems? I go to the wise woman. Yes, Warwick, I'm long past entrusting myself to some deranged druid who gives her professional address as one Dunghill Mansions Putney. <laughs> you don't have to talk in that stupid oh, voice to me. I'm not a tourist. <laughs> I seek information about a wise woman. The wise woman. The wise woman. Yes, the wise woman. Two things, Mike. You do know her, then? No, just a wild stab in the dark, which is incidentally what you'll be getting if you don't start being a bit more helpful. <laughs> do you know where she lives? Of course. Where? Here. <laughs> Lord of Adder 
Charles Black. Hello. Step your nearer. For already I see thy bloody purpose. Thou plottest... I'm in like... love with my manservant. Oh, well, I'd sleep with him if I were you. <laughs> what? When I fancy people, I sleep with them. Oh, I have to drug them first, of course. <laughs> Being so old and what? Kill Bob. Never. Then try the second. Huh? Kill yourself. Uh, and the third? The third is to ensure that no one else ever knows. Ah, that sounds more like it. Just say, June, I want you to listen very carefully. Yes. Look, Bob, I've decided that you are to leave my service. Oh, no, my lord. My father will starve and I'll have to become a male prostitute. My live-in chum. <laughs> oh, my lord. Now, I want to make absolutely clear that I'm in no way interested in the contents of your tights. <laughs> you might be, my lord, if you knew what I kept in them. Uh, hi. Hi, oh, God. Or, or a tattoo saying, get it here. No. Oh, God. You've got one of those belly buttons that sticks outwards, haven't you? No, my lord. Well, what can it possibly be? <laughs> Would I? Yes. But now you've had a chance to grow to love me for what I really am. Yes, that's true. And now... I want to marry you, Bob. <laughs> Kate. Bob. That's a very odd name for a girl, isn't it? Girls are normally called Elizabeth. Or Mary. And Donald. Mouth is open, nursery should be shut. That is true, sweet one. I had three sisters and they were called Donald, Eric I and Seek Bassett. your permission to wed. So I hear. Nutchie, what do you think of all this? Well, I must profess, madam, I'm astonished that Blackadder could possibly have eyes for any other woman than yourself. Good point. No, slightly grovelly. Ah. <laughs> but when I... Yes, her nose is pretty as mine. Oh, no, 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 ma'am. Oh, God. Because otherwise I would have cut it off. <laughs> and then you'd have had to marry someone with... Off you go, then. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone seems to get married except me. And me, Mum. Oh, shut up, Bernard. <laughs> you make a lovely bride. Use the word man in its broadest possible sense. <laughs> Perhaps we all know God made man in his own image. It'd be a sad lookout for Christians throughout the globe if God looked anything like you, Bobby. <laughs> Ignore old Mr. Grumpy. There you are. Hello there. Oh, do. <laughs> And you didn't tell me we were expecting guests. And such a pretty one, too. Oh, God. Edmund used to have a servant called Baldy. <coughs> but anyway, away with such small talk. Lady, a kiss. What? And so modest, too. It looks like he stinks. <laughs> around the court on the subject of who's going to be your best man and I thought it might be the moment to bring the subject to a conclusion. Ah, yes, Percy. I would like you... Oh, I'm so proud! Please, let me finish. I would like you to take this letter best to Dover. kisser in the kingdom. <laughs> Even he, to Dover at once. Yes. Actually, I was going to suggest Lord Fleshart for best man myself. All right. I knew this was coming up now. I want you to meet my father. Oh, fine. <laughs> Excuse me, could you move along, please? <laughs> if you want to clear off. Edmund, how could you? He's my father, my only living relative. Ten pounds should do the trick. Father! All right, there we go. Edmund, you mustn't. Oh, don't worry. I'll get Baldrick to beat him up after the ceremony. We'll get the money back. <laughs> well, there's no one else I can really think of. <gasps> <coughs> Sorry, Percy? Nothing, my lord. Just clearing my throat. Good. Who are you coughing all the way well, through the ceremony? My lord, one name does spring to mind. Yes, but I can't ask Baldrick. He's a bridesmaid. <laughs> Besides, I need a friend. An equal. 
an old and trusty companion. I think there is one person in the room. As I am, and contradiction in terms as though it is, Percy, you can be the best man. Oh, my lord, noble Cass! Oh, what an honor! I brought along a ring. Just. I really did think old Flash would have turned up. Where haven't I been? What? For the scene so extra. Who is that? I don't know, but he's in your place. Not for long. <laughs> so gross and extra. So my old mate Eddie's getting hitched, eh? What's the matter? Can't stand the pace of the uh, in crowd. <laughs> Hi, Queenie. You look sexy. <laughs> but listen. <laughs> <laughs> Nursey! I like it, firm and fruity. <laughs> Am I pleased to see you, or did I just put a canoe in my pocket? Oh, yeah. Damn, boys! Oh, nice. Ah, yes, uh, Flash, um, let me introduce my, my fiance, Kate. My baby. <laughs> baby, meet me on my horse in eight seconds. But I can't run in this frock. You see, I find I actually prefer wearing boys' clothes. Weird. I always feel more comfy in a dress. <laughs> I've got a plan, and it's as hot as my pants. <laughs> um, it is customary on these occasions for the groom to marry the bridesmaid. I presume you intend to honor this? Um... I do. <laughs> It was a good episode, man. It was really funny. I got to watch the clip with the whole Flash thing with him showing up, um, acting a fool, acting super extra, which is fantastic. It was really funny to me. Um, yeah, man, this is a good episode. A lot of funny moments. He's a hardcore douchebag, which is great, which is going to just make it that much better. I hate that I tried to skip to the next episode because I kind of forget my thoughts unless I kind of scroll up through the episode to try to remember. Um... It's just a lot of freaking funny moments, man. Just the way he kept saying Bob, that was funny. This dude trying to get his daughter to be a hooker, that was fantastic. This started off... <laughs> it started off really funny, man. Uh, this the, <laughs> it's so cold-blooded. I love when it's the doctor and, like, the cure for everything was leeches. You know, like, you know, medicine's so primitive back then. Like, what? Leeches, blood, letting. Um, what's the other thing they used to do a lot? That's another thing, too. I can't remember. But no blood, letting, leeches, and something else. Because I remember watching a YouTube video and they're like making fun of like all the old stuff they used to do, all the old medicine. Um, and like why some of it did work and why some of it didn't. Um, you know, testing and learning all that jazz. I don't remember enough about it. I just remember it was like there was three things that stood out, but for some reason I can't remember the third one. I just know it was leeches, third, bloodletting, and something else. I cannot remember the other thing. Uh, yeah, man, this is good. This is a funny, funny start to the series, man. Really, really good. Anything, nothing else, man. Just that I enjoyed this. That I reacted to a few of the clips. Um, it's crazy because I didn't know. I was like, none of it looked familiar until he actually, like, Flash actually showed up um, in the thing. I was like, I thought that Flash clip I reacted to was, like, seven minutes. But I'm guessing, I guess it was just, like, three minutes. I don't know why I remember it being, I feel like it was, like, longer than that. Like, seven to ten minutes or something like that. I thought it was longer. Um, the only part I remember is when he first, like, showed up and started acting super extra. Um, yeah. All in all, good, funny episode. The Queen's crazy. She's out of her mind, so I hope to see some more of her. Um, I like, like I said, I like that he's a douchebag. Doctor was funny. Um, yeah, all in all, good episode. Really good start. Really, really funny. That's it, man. I don't have anything else to say. If I think of anything else, of course, I'm going to type it below the video because whenever I'm talking, stuff slips in my mind. And I've said this for a long time. I need to start taking notes when it pops in my head when I think of something so I can like talk about it a little bit more in the end um, in detail. But this is good. This is fantastic. It was funny. Really, really enjoyed it. All right, guys, that is it. That is all for this one. Hopefully, you guys are happy, safe, and healthy. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.